DNA technology is often used successfully to identify human remains. Recently, detectives announced they identified a John Doe found 45 years ago in Snohomish County as a transient Native American man. Detectives also identified a Jane Doe who went missing 41 years ago from her Lake Loma cabin under mysterious circumstances. She's Alice Lou Williams, they know now. And one local mom is hoping to get some answers after her daughter disappeared in 2017. Snohomish County Sheriff's detectives are using this excavator to try to unearth new clues in a case that's more than four years old. After Jessica Siebold went missing in late 2017, detectives got tips telling them that she was murdered and buried on this property in Trafton, a community near Arlington. Detectives didn't have enough evidence to get a search warrant, and the persons of interest who lived here would never cooperate. Now, the new owner of the property has given detectives permission to leave no stone unturned. Jessica's mom says she believes her daughter spent her final day here in terror. It kills me inside to know what she went through and that the animals are out and running around and they're going to do it to somebody else's child. This property sits right along the Stillaguamish River, which is just over that hill. This is the last place that Jessica was known to be seen. When detectives questioned the man who lived here at the time, he told them that the last time he saw Jessica, she came out, walked across this bridge and went down by the river to talk to Jesus. It's not a story they believe. They're aware they're suspects, um, and we do believe they have additional information that they're withholding. So far, they've recovered bags and bags of buried trash and even furniture, but no human remains yet. They're not just digging. Detectives say they also did ground penetrating radar, but the problem with that is there is so much trash and junk under here and also a ton of rocks. It's hard to see anything down there. Our family needs to be able to say goodbye to her. For now, Jessica's mom says anybody involved in her daughter's disappearance should be feeling the heat. They definitely need to be nervous because they're criminals, they're murderers, they're rapists, and they're pigs. They don't belong outside of a jail cell. Detectives believe there are individuals out in the public who know where she is, um, and we're asking them to help us find her and get answers for her family.